quiz help make the lessons interactive and ensures a quick revision of concepts learned previously. You can create quizzes through the LMS and add them to your lessons. To create a quiz, search for LMS quiz from the awesome bar or click on LMS quiz list. From here, you can click on add LMS quiz, give the quiz a title. From the question table, you can add all the questions and their options. Let's add a question and some options. With each option, you can check is correct, if this is the correct option and an explanation for the same. The explanation field is optional though. Let's add a couple of more questions. Max attempts ensure that users attempt the quiz only up to a certain number of times. If you want users to attempt the quiz only once, then set it to 1. If no value is entered, the quiz can be attempted an infinite number of times. Time per question determines the amount of time that a user has to attempt a question. If a user fails to select an option within this time, they lose a point if no time is specified, then there will be no time limit. Save the quiz. Let's add it to a new lesson. I will follow the syntax mentioned below to add a quiz. Let's save. This is the lesson for which I added the quiz. I'll visit the website now and check if the quiz has been added properly. On starting the quiz, a user can select an option and immediately verify if this is the correct answer. They can then move on to the next question. If a quiz has more than one correct answers, once they can select all applicable answers. Once all questions are answered, users can submit the quiz. They can check out the score. Instructors can verify user's submission from backend. When a user submits a quiz, an entry gets created automatically in the LMS quiz submission doc type. You can visit this through the workspace. The doc type stores the quiz name and the user who submitted the quiz along with their user response. And if this is the correct answer or not. This is how a quiz is created in Frappe LMS. In the next lesson, we will see how to set up a job board for our LMS.